Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Nonski is Required. Today I'm gonna show you how to change the carbon brushes on a jigsaw in particular or on any electrical motor. Alright, so let's get started. As you can see this one as you can see this one is uh, wear down the carbon brushed as you can see this one are done this one can have many other faults as well but the most important part on the, any electrical motor are the carbon brushes all right so let's try and change the brushes on this uh, jigsaw this one is an uh, un unbranded like you saw here jigsaw hf blah 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 whatever made in prc this was a brand new one it lasted quite a while still is working but today we're gonna change the, the spare carbon brushes that we have to see if we're gonna make it another life for this bastard thing all right so let's get started all right friends we're gonna dismantle the thing as you can see here we do have the original carbon brushes the, the original ones we're gonna measure the bastard thing to see this one after who knows six months one year of working intensely working i can say without further ado you know he that jigsaw helped me quite a lot i did manage to cut these wooden pellets you know and revive them making some rustical fences and whatever i'm going to show you in another episode you know how to proper cut this thing to recover as many wood as you can uh, in particular, we're gonna change that thing. I'm gonna show you how wet it is and how la how long it lasted. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna proceed with the dismantling of the thing. It's got a couple of screws. Shouldn't be that difficult. As you can see here, you know, I, it was having a ball bearing that was guiding the line, the, the cutting blade. But this one is quite wear down. It wobbles, you know, back and forth, or whatever. It's still doing the job, it's still cutting wood, as it's supposed to do. But we're gonna change, nonetheless, you know, the carbon brushes to see how it looks and how long it is gonna last. Let's see if we're gonna manage to open the, the bastard thing. Yeah. Let's see inside. Where it's got some plastic meltdown over here. Where? Was it requested us and on Pierre Dempoester? It's working smoothly. So we're going to turn the page. Hey, Vasilin. Come here, Jimmy. Jimmy, no? Ah, shit, da da. It's got some shit inside. Probably this one was Vaseline. Oh, I got plenty of Vaseline. Here you go, friends, inside the jigsaw. How is doing the conversion from a circular movement into an up and down movement? As you can see here, it's got a ball bearing. Let's see. Here you go, this one is doing the whole transformation. Come on. As you can see here, this one one rotates, is going up and down, and is transferring the movement to the blade. Here you go, it's going up and down. We're gonna do a continuity test to see if it's uh, still is working, and now we're gonna change the carbon brushes to see how wear down they are after I told you know six eight months or one year of intensely working let's see there we go. we're gonna measure with the with the new ones to see how it doesn't look to be that wear wear down the same 
Just a little bit. Auzi? Să-i schimbăm oricum ce-ar fi? Sunt bun. Să mai aibă altceva. Dar nu are vreun nimica. A, mergea el? Da, da, da. Ah. Asta mergea, nu are nicio problemă, numai că vreau să-i schimb cărbunii. Păi da, da, sunt. Nici jumătate nu sunt. Uite-te și tu. Scoate unul din urmă, să vedem cum e. So, I was talking to my friend here. No, this one is in working condition. It looks bad. But we did, it, we did try to see how well down are the, the carbon brushes and maybe we're gonna change them nonetheless. Let's see with the new one, comparing with the used one, very little, maybe one, two millimeters. Put it on me. you say no. As you can see, this one is a used one. As a size, come on, focus thing. A size, first let's look at the, the shape, you know, I was doing. So this one is still going. I don't know if it's a mark here or whatever. But we'll see, we're gonna change them nonetheless and uh, to see if the thing is gonna work. Again, a little bit cleaning and stay tuned. Here go friends, we're gonna replace the, the carbon brushes, nonetheless, it was still doing the job, maybe a couple of months, maybe more, but we, I decided to change the buster thing, you know, to see how it's gonna perform, and to see how it's inside the jigsaw after many months of intensely chopping the, the, the wood and stuff. The most important thing after the carbon brushes is the blade. When I saw this one is, is struggling to cut wood, I immediately replaced the, the metal blade. So don't try to use a used, a very used one because it's gonna make a lot of smoke and, and stuff. We're gonna assemble the buster thing to places, put the screws back and we're gonna do a test run to the thing. All right, so stay tuned. All right, friends, so we managed to assemble the buster thing back into places. Uh, just a couple of screws. Click here and there, or not. Let's see. That's it. So, the brand new brushed, carbon brushed for the, for the jigsaw. Uh, the replacement of the carbon brush thing, you know, is uh, pretty commonly available to all the electric uh, brushed motors. So just have a pair of new carbon brushes in the in spare place, just in case. If you're gonna see sparks, if you're gonna see smoke, there's a sign that this one are wear down. It wasn't the case for this one, but we did uh, try to manage to measure the thing, you know. So the conclusion is it wasn't that badly wear down, but as a cheap jigsaw, it did the job flawlessly and we could expect more life to it. Let's see with the brand new one. We're gonna plug it in the thing. Let's see. A little bit of smell. Let's let's put it to the test. We're gonna we're gonna cut some wood. To see just a little bit. Let's see, actual test. One, two. Here you go, friends. Properly cut, a decent sized wood, and the jigsaw is still working, revived to life. Thanks all for watching. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Ciao! ciao.